love cars, boats, and water. And what do you get when you mix them all together? You get this amphibian vehicle from the Home Depot Kids Workshop. That's what we're going to make today. Hi, I'm Serena. I'm Kojo. I'm Ohe. And I'm Kwabana. And today we're going to make it with wood, but if you can't get your hands on one of the limited kits, we are going to show you how to make it out of cardboard and just some materials found around the home. So are you ready to do this project, boys? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's get started right now. This kit comes with two sides, one bed, one top cab, one bottom cab, two caterpillar tracks, one back, two supports, six long nails, and you also get 10 short nails and two screws. And of course, you can't forget the stickers. They also get a pin, a certificate of achievement, and their own smock. Now for this project, you will need a hammer, a number two Phillips screwdriver, fine sandpaper, and wood glue. Now don't forget, your kids need safety gear, so a dust mask and eye protection is important. Start with unpacking the kit and read the instructions thoroughly. The instructions are so easy for even a five-year-old to understand, so it's good for younger kids as well as older kids. They can all participate and have fun. Before you begin assembling this kit, start with sanding each piece of wood to remove any rough edges. And remember, you wanna sand in the direction of the wood grain, and you do wanna glue and nail all the pieces together and allow that glue to dry completely. For step one, lay both of the caterpillar track pieces flat with the nail holes facing up. The four long nails are what you're gonna to use to start. Now don't go all the way through the wood, just start the nails into the caterpillar tracks. And this is a great opportunity to get the older kids involved helping their younger siblings. So for step two, stand both support pieces up on the shorter edges and add a little bit of glue to the top of those edges. You'll place one of the caterpillar track pieces on top, making sure that the support pieces are under the nails and the top and bottom edges are even. And this is where kids may need a helping hand to keep things steady. When that side is nailed, turn the project over and repeat to attach the other caterpillar track piece to the other side. And of course, don't forget the wood glue. For step three, rotate the project right side up and add a thin line of glue to the top edges. Next, place the bed piece on top and make sure those outside edges are even. You'll nail it in place with six of your short nails. For step four, lay the top cab piece flat with the nail holes up and start two of the long nails. Then lay the bottom cab piece down and glue the top cab piece on top. Again, you'll make sure that the sides and the back edges are even. You'll nail them together to complete the cab. For step five, you'll notice that there is a screw hole on the front and a screw hole on the back. On the cab, on the underside, there's a screw hole and that's where you'll align them. But first, apply a little bit of glue be careful not to cover up the screw hole and then align the screw holes, making sure that the edges are even as well. We'll go ahead and do the back piece the same way, add a little bit of wood glue and align those screw holes. Once the glue has dried, flip it over, take the two screws that come with the kit and attach them together. You'll also do the same for the back piece with one of the screws in the kit. And this is a great opportunity for older siblings to help their younger siblings. For step six, rotate the project onto one side, add a little bit of glue to the top edge of the cab and the back piece. And of course, if you add too much glue, you can always use your finger or a little towel to clean that up. I just tend to use my finger. You'll place one of the side pieces on top and use two of the short nails to attach it to that side. When you're done doing this part, flip it over and attach the other side and then your kids are ready to attach the stickers. There's a bunch of stickers that come with this kit and the kids will really enjoy placing the stickers everywhere. If you need help with understanding where to place the stickers, just look at the instruction sheet that comes with the kit. But whether you paint it or leave it natural, it looks good either way and the kids are gonna love showing off their project pins and their certificate of achievement. But the fun doesn't stop there because these kits, all of them come with workshop extension activities, which I love that gets the kids thinking about science and learning. So for this activity, you need your amphibious vehicle, some painter's tape, a paper towel roll or a toilet paper roll, some scissors, some super glue, and you'll also need some string, some aluminum foil, and of course, some things for flotation. So we're gonna use some foam balls and also straws. You'll also need a sink, a tub, or a basin filled with water because we're making lifeboats and we have to figure out how to make this cardboard waterproof to see if it can float. Now, there's other materials that you can use for this, 
like Velcro, you can use string, rubber bands, but the whole point of this exercise is to get kids thinking about how can we get this lifeboat to float. So getting the older kids involved is pretty fun too. They can help the younger kids and you know, as much as kids love video games, most kids love to create. And when you put materials in front of them and give them a challenge, hey, you've got to get this lifeboat to float, they love a good challenge. And that's what these Home Depot kids workshops and the extension activities do. So it was time to test whether these lifeboats actually worked. Did they sink or did they float? Surprisingly, they floated and I was really excited to see what they were able to create. This was a fun project. Well, let's say you don't have access to the kids workshop kit and you just wanna make one out of cardboard. Well, you can do that and I'm gonna show you how to do it. In fact, I put together these templates for you and you can download them in the blog post that goes with this video. And all you have to do is print them from your printer using eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper and you will have eight patterns. But look at the pattern because some of them require you to cut two and some of them require you to cut one. So the next part is to fold along all of the black solid lines. Some of them have little colored tabs that you see here in orange. This is so when you cut them out on cardboard, you know exactly where the fold lines will be for you to hot glue so that they actually create little origami boxes. You're gonna need two or maybe three cereal boxes and we're gonna use four different colors of paints. You'll find those colors in the blog post. You'll need scissors, hot glue, and of course some paint brushes and you'll also need a pencil. For step one, take your scissors and cut the cereal boxes open so that they lay flat. Use your patterns and place them strategically on the cardboard so you're not wasting any of the cardboard. I started with the Caterpillar tracks because they were the largest. Start by just drawing an outline around your pattern and then where those fold lines are, create the fold lines on the cardboard. This is gonna show you where you need to fold these. Now, once you've cut it out, you'll use your fingernail or something blunt and just create a score line everywhere that you see a line. And when you fold the cardboard, it's gonna be much easier to fold. And remember to actually fold the tabs as well. This is how we're gonna hold these boxes together. Once you've cut out all of the pattern pieces, and I believe there's gonna be probably about 10 pieces total, you'll then start to fold these boxes and glue them together. Now we're gonna use hot glue and we're gonna put hot glue in that area where it's the orange tab. And when we fold it all together, we'll see that we've got a cute little box that is perfectly shaped and ready to be hot glued to make our amphibious vehicle out of cardboard. Continue cutting, folding, and gluing all of your pieces together. And when you've got the two Caterpillar tracks completed, set them side by side and hot glue the bed to the top of the tracks. Once those are in place, flip it over and then attach the two supports in between the Caterpillar tracks. Now you can do this step first. I actually had forgotten to do it, <laughs> but it can be done afterwards. This just helps to keep everything steady. Next, hot glue the back onto the back of the amphibious vehicle, and then hot glue the bottom cab to the front of the amphibious vehicle. And the top cab will be glued on top of that. Next, turn it over and hot glue one side to each of the sides, and then it's time for paint. Start off painting the entire thing green and then give it a military vehicle look with different shades of green. And don't forget to do your windows and also use some coins or a button or something round to create your wheels. And that's it, you're done. And I don't know about you, but this looks like a really fun vehicle to make. Kids are going to love this project. So even if you can't get the Home Depot wooden version of this kit, you can make this yourself with cardboard. These Home Depot Kids workshops are a lot of fun for your kids, but they're not just fun, they're educational. And you can find this project and many more at sciencefaircentral.com, which is a collaboration between the Home Depot and Discovery Education. I'm Serena. I'm Kojo. And I'm Ohane. And I'm Bobby. And we will see you next Home Depot Kids Workshop.